So have you heard of the story about the jar? So the jar represents our time, our priorities, our life, or even it can represent just our day. And this is something that I heard many, many years ago. I think it was in a film. I feel like it might have been in an Indiana Jones film. I think I've just made that up. I don't know. Anyway, so you've got a jar. It can represent your day or your life. If you fill that jar with sand, it's very hard to fit rocks and pebbles and other things in the jar. So what we do is we empty the jar and we start with the rocks, which are our priorities, our really important things. These are things like our children, um, our loved ones, our family, the, the things that we really want to put time into that are really important to us. Uh, and that, so we put them in first and the jar looks full. But there's little bits of room around there. So that's where we then we next put in the pebbles. And the pebbles represent things like our hobbies, um, our acquaintances. For some people, you know, your job, your career, that kind of thing. For some people, you know, your job and your career is a rock too. So we put that in. And then last we put in the sand. And the sand can fill in all the gaps around our other the rocks and the pebbles and our and our time and our priorities and the sand represents things like cooking watching tv commuting um you know doing some exercise all those other little things that we choose to do in our day that aren't top priorities part of my job and something that i really want my clients to understand is that if they really want to um meet their health goals and they really want to um, have longevity and be able to look forward to the future and feel great um, and be confident about their health in the future is that instead of treating meals like the sand that fill in the other important things in your day and cooking you know just we'll, we'll fit it in here and there we'll have a quick smoothie on the way to work or we'll skip lunch today because we're busy and we'll have a coffee instead that kind of thing um, or takeaway on the way home instead I want your meals to become one of the rocks and one of the first things that you put into your day so it's a foundation it's something that you prioritize and in doing that you are actually facilitating the other rocks and the pebbles and even the sand um, you know in short-term view in day-to-day -day, if you don't eat well and you don't prioritize your three meals nourishing meals a day that fill you up and keep you feeling good and give you a nice slow release of energy throughout the day it's really hard to be present with your kids or at dinner time when you're exhausted because you haven't fueled yourself um, or you might not be able to get as much work done that day, which can put you behind with other things. Uh, you know, or you might not be able to get some of those pebbles in, like exercise. I'm too tired to exercise today because I don't feel well, because I'm tired, because I, hasn't, I haven't slept well, because I ate that thing yesterday, which then meant that I was inflamed and up at 3 a.m. feeling unwell. Um, so one of my jobs and something that I think is really really important is to get my clients to consider meals as a foundation to their lives in their day and so that and it, and as I was saying so that we've got that short term uh, in a day kind of scenario but also long term you know <laughs> there's things you want to do with your life in your future and if you don't fuel your body well now you may not have as long of a future as you expected you know so doing everything we can to give ourselves long healthy lives will actually facilitate more of those rocks facilitate more time with grandkids or great grandkids facilitate your ability to go um, and keep hiking into your 50s 60s and 70s and do meet certain goals that you wanted to do with hobbies or whatever it is um, i think yeah we should all reconsider and reframe our meals and our food, those three pivotal times a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner, instead of just shoving the sand in where we can and making it fit around what we think is more important, getting those three rocks and putting them in our jar first. It's so much like the analogy of fitting your own um, airport, uh, oxygen mask in when the plane's going down right before you fit your children's. Um, we need to take care of ourselves in order to meet those long goals and, and even just to get through the day well and, and the week well.
we need to fuel our bodies. And I don't know if people realize how much that what they're eating can actually have an impact on their low energy and um, their inability to show up in all the areas of their life where they really want to succeed and show up and be present and do things well. I hope that's helpful. Please share with anyone if you think that they might need to hear that as well. Um, comment, reply to my the email, let me know what you think. See ya.